massive day for ABCT stock. Check this out. 11.22. This is November 22nd at 3.15 a.m. Just about almost seven days ago, Xmas Holiday sends me a message saying, Arca, we're headed for $1.20 in my opinion on ABCT. So we touched on the C target already. Pretty cool. Right on point, right? So I reply to him saying, ascending channel, touching down at support. I'll take, it'll take a week. It's possible. I see your angle. I'll bite. I forgot about the other technicals, but I like it. So I since actually revised his channel and put it down on the four-hour chart rather than rather than the bi-hourly chart. And since f actually we were able to get a target of right over here, it says C take profit at one dollar seventeen has confluence with two spot six one eight golden ratio at one dollar seventeen almost eighteen cents, and it has a high. And candles actually use this. So we're actually looking at the two spot 618 and the take C profit from the ABCD strategy. Today, we actually closed at $1.16 seven days later from our projected timing and target. It did reach a high of about $1.26. Okay, so let's go ahead and find out what's next for ABCT stock in this video. What is up, you guys? Thank you so much for stopping by once again. This is Arca coming at you with an ABCT uh, statistical, technicals, and raw price action thread of analysis. Before we get started, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, share the video with a friend so that you and them could consider joining our trading community in Discord called Arcab. With that said, let's go ahead and dive right into the charts. So we are looking at ABCT on the four-hour chart right here, and this is exactly the play that we were looking at on the discord a week ago so now we can actually make an adjustment to our take c profit which is actually right over here and we can make a d come down to maybe around this area here it just depends on how we're going to be able to do this as you can see that the b was actually not the lowest point it actually ended up coming down to this area here okay so now if we're able to take uh, if we're able to take timing using this candle here we can actually now make an adjustment to just try to get the ABCT, AB, I'm sorry, the ABCD strategy uh, as straight as we could so that we can see the potential of the take D even by timing. So this is a, a strategy not used uh, popularly. This is actually something that I just do myself, but I like to actually take the, uh, I like to actually take note of the iteration from, uh, uh from the first, uh, from X to B, so that I can see just how long that's gonna be, right? Sorry, this it's actually this tool right here. So let's go ahead and just measure this. So you're looking at about 12 days, four hours, and we can then take this and apply it to this area here, and we can see a potential uh, a potential timing for, for, the, for the asset to realize, right? To the downside. So now, in candle analysis, when you're looking at, I mean, we four hour chart is a short term time frame. That's all good. But it is large enough to consider the fact that we are printing or it did print an inverted hammer at the top of the trend. Now, if you remember correctly, the inverted hammers are usually bearish when they're at the top of the trend. This signals a potential reversal in, in trend. So we may be looking at now short positioning, uh, short positions open at that top area that we were talking about here, 118 to 126 now. And they're going to potentially ride this down to, th to the take D, to the take profit at D from the ABCD strategy, okay? So we need to watch out with what's happening within within the price action. You can actually see that we got so close to the three spot 618 at 130. So that's a that's another thing that I usually mention all the time. It's just if I mention that we're going to go to here, it's it's chances are is that we're not going to go directly to it not all the time. We're potentially going to sell off right, you know, right before it so that you can ensure that you do have profits locked in, right? That's part of the that's part of the game, okay? Please know that I'm not a financial advisor. Take whatever I do show and iterate within these videos as a form of entertainment. I can't actually suggest for you to buy or sell any assets, okay? Make sure you do your own DD and we'll be okay. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to now what could be the, the first chart. So this is the descending channel that we've been looking at for quite some time now and we've been track we, we've been we've been tracking it you know we've been you know ever since we were over here so <laughs> it, it it is looking pretty good so far now what i do have to actually give you guys is is the potential to where we may be looking at a confirmed breakout i'm not sure just yet because there may be confusion with what i'm about to mention okay so if we look very closely 
we're going to be talking about the golden rule of three. Okay. The golden rule of three is something that we talk about very often here. And it's particular to, to, uh, formations like this. It's incredible. It's incredibly important because this is just part of the playbook. Okay. This is what, uh, bulls and bears play all the time. So I'm just going to go ahead and make an adjustment so that it's right at the wick here. And then let's look back. Okay. We have potential test number one here. This can, this, some people may be drawing the trend starting from here rather than from here. Okay. So we have test number one. We have test number two. Test number three. Now, if you're a, if you're a regular listener, you know, you know, you'll know what I'm about to say next. Usually test three follows along to a larger sell-off event or capitulation event or maybe even a reaccumulation before an actual attempt of true breakout on test number four. Okay, we could be experiencing test number four right now. We did we did talk about yesterday, the glimmer of hope is what I called it yesterday uh, when we were trading down here. So we came up right to that channel and we and it, it, you can see that it's not random pricing. Okay, it's not random shorting. We are at the top of that channel. We are actually coming back because it is a form of resistance and the one spot 618 is there. And if you remember correctly, we made a new Fibonacci retracement from the swing high, which was right here from the days prior to the swing low, which is this candle right over here. So we took a Fibonacci retracement from these areas and gained all of these targets. As you can see, the candle wick top, it went right to the penny of the three spot 618. Uh, a golden mean. It's very important that we trade with considering the 618 golden ratio. Okay. So we faced the resistance there. We came right back down. And if I recall correctly, the two, the 100 day moving average was right around there too. Let's go ahead and pull up the SMAs. Yep. Check it. Take a look at this. This is the SMA 100. We faced resistance there, faced resistance from the, from the, uh, resistance range of the descending channel, the one spot 618 and dead to the penny of the three spot 618. Lots of signals telling us that we were potentially going to stop there. Okay. Now, if there is confusion within the tests of the descending channel, this is very important. We may sell off to a bigger capitulation event if people don't fail, if people fail to see this as test number one, because if they don't see this as test number one, we're looking at test one, two, three, followed by a large capitulation event. Now, if I see the test number one, chances are that other pros may see it too. Okay, so I am more on the bullish side than I am on the bearish side. Okay, so this this is something very important that I am, but I am looking at the potential of actual true breakout here and if the true breakout were to happen in candle analysis we can actually see uh resistance between the two spot 618 at 140 and the three spot 618 at 173 excuse me um so th that could be potentially an area for us to be able to use as resistance before coming back and testing our newly converted resistance into support of the channel okay and in this support we're going to be able to test the one spot 618 and the two spot 618 from these Fibonacci's as a form of valid support before continuing on to the upside. OK, because this this formation is usually a reversal of trend. OK, now let's move on to a bias in direction for or for direction in the uh, uh, RSI. So let's go ahead and open up uh, a few uh, profiles here and uh, so that you can be able to see exactly what's going to happen for maybe. Uh, actually, you know, what? we'll make this the 30 minute. This is going to be the buy hourly and we'll get a broader we'll get a broader idea as to what the direction is looking like for uh, for AVCT. So now I know that I have my um, uh, drawing here for you guys. So I'm going to put this up so that we can be able to see exactly what the RSI properties are about. OK, I, I, in case you get uh, lost in what I'm saying. You know, the, these uh, zones one, two, three, four, these are the zones one, two, three, and four. Okay. So uh, follow along and we'll be able to uh, be okay here. Okay. So, yeah, the immediate short term time frame is now diving in to the bull strength percentile and we are suggesting a continuation onto the way down. Um, let's look at the 15 minute. 15 minute is also suggesting a continuation to the way down. It has now failed the bull strength percentile and it's looking to jump in to the bull weakness percentile. OK, so we're going to we're going to piece all the I'm sorry, we're going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're, we're going to put all the puzzle pieces together little by little. OK, so this is why I'm actually talking one by one. 
Okay, let's look at the buy hourly. The buy hourly is also uh, retracing back from uh, from an overbought percentile. Okay, so we are getting a small hint from the moving average. It is suggesting a continuation onto the top. Moving average is this pink line. The RSI signal is the purple. Okay, now the six hour is suggesting a continuation to the way up. And the daily is also suggesting a continuation to the, uh, to, to the upside. The six hour is sitting well within the grips of the bull strength percentile. So this is very likely to continue up, to continue to the upside. And this moving average here, I'm, the, the, I'm sorry, the RSI signal is pivoted aggressively to the upside, approaching the shallow areas of the bear weakness percentile, which usually means that we're going to be gravitated right into bull weakness. Okay, so this is this is all looking very bullish for for AVCT. However, if I can be able to give you any advice, is is that we may actually look, uh, we may actually be set up for an entry position soon, and that entry position, based on the uh, you know the RSI indications of a short term pullback before a continuation onto the upside, this is likely going to happen in the early pre market. Um, yeah, probably the 4 a.m. session uh, up to the 6 uh, up to 6 a.m. Uh, Pacific time I'm talking about. OK, so that this considering these. Yeah, we can potentially see a drop to uh, let's see. It would probably be at the one spot two seven two at eighty seven cents. And the range would actually be between one spot six one eight and one dollar and three between yeah between one dollar and three and one dollar and eight there could be a pullback here before us continuing to the upside we can actually find a bounce here now let's see if there's any EMAs in that uh, vicinity okay so yeah the the, the seven day exponential moving average is is uh, pretty much in confluence with this a dollar three level a dollar four of the one spot six one eight so this can likely be used as a form of support uh, uh, alongside the one spot six one eight before continuing on to the upside okay so we are definitely printing that inverted hammer i am looking at very very short term pullback before a continuation on to the upside in the statistical metrics you, this is this is something very important too that i am looking at the fact that we have already completed the 58 spot 43% move to the upside from today. Okay, so the statistic the statistics the statistics, my goodness, can't speak today, right? The statistics are suggesting a 58 man, just wherever we can actually find those notes, right? Here they are. Uh we were suggesting from a back test that I performed of volatility with, represented by this indicator BBWP versus momentum we actually came back with uh, with an upside accuracy of 100%, and it is actually realizing that. It, it has realized that. We, we got a 100% read, and now this makes 13. So now this the odds are probably going to be 59 or, or 60%. Uh, I'm sorry, the, the odds are, yeah, actually the odds are probably going to be the 60% up now over the span of a month. And from the firing of the signal, we actually did take some time. This is a two-day so we're looking at about, let's see, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, about 20 days to play this out when it gave us just over a month. So the statistics were dead on on this, and, and I'm talking about dead on. So <laughs> it actually, it, the wick reached that 58 spot, 43% right at our statistic target. So this is the importance of us taking into account volatility versus momentum profile this is incredibly important this is why i trade like this you guys okay so um i think this is a pretty good place for me to leave off the video if you have any questions or concerns please don't hesitate to reach out to me okay so i am expecting remember i'm expecting a, a short-term pullback before us continuing onto the upside i'm looking at the two spot six one eight uh, between the two spot six one eight and the three spot six one eight as a as a place of resistance before coming down and testing our newly converted resistance into support before continuing to the upside. Please remember that, okay? Just in case, if there's a FOMO event, then you know we're just going to surpass this, and if there's a, a a critical shorting event, we're just going to go down. But statistics are, I'm sorry, the stats and the technicals are suggesting a continuation to the downside first before we can actually make an upside move, okay? Keep that in mind. But with that said, I'll make sure to leave the links in the description below for you to consider joining the RCAP training community on Discord. Visit me on Twitter. Say hi. And uh, yeah, I wish you a good night and I'll catch you at the Bell Manana. Adios.